guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming like a very quick get ready with me or maybe it won't be quick, I don't know. I basically had my base on and I just wanted to test out one of my Pat McGrath palettes. I actually ended up just using the one palette. I wanted to try and mix and match but I didn't end up doing that. This is the Bronze Temptation palette, the mini palette that she just came out with. I also got the other two in the bundle. So I just wanted to do a little quick demo and also show you guys this palette because I used the blush on my face today. So if you're interested in seeing how it all turned out, just keep watching. Hi guys. Okay, so I have so many new palettes I want to play with, but I thought since I just got these and I haven't really used them. I used the blue one two times. I haven't used these colors yet. And if you guys don't know, I'm attempting to pan this um, palette with a few of my friends here on YouTube. And I must say, a quick update on this, I have not used this as much as I would like. I mean, let's be real, I kind of knew that was going to happen because I've never panned a damn thing in my life. Okay, that's not true. I've panned like eyeshadow palettes before but that was like before I really got into YouTube and so now it's just like difficult um, when you have as much makeup as I do which sounds kind of obnoxious but I don't mean it like that I just I it's just not it's not possible um, but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try so um, this palette the colors just I feel like it's so Christmassy so it wasn't like the palette I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. But she had a bundle when these launched on her website. So I did buy the bundle. And so I'm going to try and like use um, a few different palettes or, you know, as many as I can. And I already just fucked this up because, okay, so this shade is called Burning Desire. And it's like the perfect like crease shade for me. So I'm going to just throw that on in the crease and this is just like an old morphe rg24 i used to be subscribed to like the morphe brush subscription service and uh i'm not anymore because i felt like i had a lot of morphe brushes just from having the subscription and um i'm trying not to support them <laughs> and even though i don't really buy too much makeup from them i felt like the brush subscription was also me still like kind of doing that and so yeah I thought I'd stop for a while but honestly it is a really nice service if you're trying to grow your brush collection I believe it's like 20 something a month and they send you brushes and it's a nice way to grow your collection so I'm gonna go in with this darker color which is called Dark Paradise it's like the perfect outer V um, shade and um, yeah, I haven't done, I don't really do tutorials on my channel, but a lot of you are so supportive and you guys actually do watch some of my like makeup tutorials. And one time I was like, uh, my tutorials are like such a bitch to edit because I talk and I talk and I talk. And so I did one that I just kind of fast forwarded through. And a lot of you are super nice and you're like, actually like will watch you talk or do a voiceover like you guys are giving me like inspiration and I really appreciate that so yeah these palettes so far I mean blend themselves you guys just saw me I blended two shades and it didn't even take me that long so I really appreciate that about these palettes now I'm trying to figure out what shade to put on my eyes. I think I'm gonna go with this color because that's the one like everyone's been freaking out about. And um, I have these like flat brushes that I got from like some set I bought. I don't even know, probably like from some cheap website. And they're really nice for packing on color. And this is that like dual chrome shade. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up, but it's like beautiful. And like the thing I noticed about these shadows, you don't even really have to foil them to like get them to show up it's really crazy like it's so bright and I feel like there's a similar shade to this in the Too Faced um, gingerbread palette um I'm just gonna check in the mirror sorry um in the Too Faced gingerbread palette um but this obviously is Pat McGrath so 
you know, she's my bae. So yeah, it's kind of a simple eye look, I, but I really like it and I'm just gonna stop there because sometimes less is more. And I guess I could put something on in the brow bone. Sometimes I really forget to do my brow bone. So <laughs> bear with me here. I'm just gonna look through all these palettes to see if there's a color that is light enough for a brow bone highlight. I don't think so. Um, I'm just gonna go in. I wanted to do some face products too, so I grabbed um, this palette, which is the Becca Face Palette from Holiday. I am like so curious to know if they're gonna do a, a Holiday Face Palette this year because I honestly kind of look forward to these. They're so nice, the quality. And I know they did that eyeshadow palette called like the Volcano Goddess Palette. And I was like, are they gonna do a face palette because their face palettes are amazing and so I wanted to use actually I want to show you guys this bronzer in action this is from the NARS atomic blonde palette if you're looking to pick this up during the VIB sale you probably can I really like this bronzer and this is a Mac bronzer brush I really like this too 140 140s if you have your Ulta coupon and you wanna buy a nice bronzer brush. It's like a big fan brush, but it's like very dense. And it's not quite as expensive as like those, um, like the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush and um, the Tom Ford. So yeah, just bronze my face up a little bit. And then my go-to, I've been um, trying to use this, um, the NARS, Tris palette, this one Mel Thompson made me buy. I wasn't intending on buying this, but she was kind of raving about it. I personally don't know how I feel about it yet. It does have that baked gelée formula, so I might just need like a more dense brush. This brush I use with it is a Morphe E4, and this is usually a really good bronzer brush, but I feel like for this formula, I need something denser. But as you can see, the color did apply, and I used this berry shade, which works really well for my skin tone. And then I have just like basic, I've been so basic, but I've been loving the Becca highlighter in, let me grab the shade to show you guys. I have like a pile here, so it's a little intense. Um, I've been loving Becca um, Opal in this palette, as you can see. I'm actually really proud of this palette because I made like a decent dent in it. And then I've been trying these Real Technique brushes. They're called Rebel Edge brushes and this is the size medium. Um, I don't love this for highlighter, but you know, it's fun to try new things. <laughs> and so I'm just kind of dusting some of this on. This highlighter is so flattering. Like sometimes I'm like, why did I forget about you know, opal. And so I actually really hope I hit pen on this sometime soon because, you know, why not? And so those are all my base products. You could try this. This is Dirty Pumpkin by Gimme Glow. Um, I haven't worn this in a while, but it's like a really perfect shade for fall. I don't think I did a very good job of like lining my lips with that color, but it's such a beautiful like fall color. So I really like it and I do like the formula and I picked up, they had like little mini sets. So I really like the minis because I'm never going to go through like a full lipstick or let's be real. And so now I'm just going to do my eyeliner and mascara and my under eye off camera and come back and kind of give you my thoughts. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I mean, it's very simple. I didn't really know what I was gonna do with my eyeshadow. I was hoping to use all the palettes, but I just ended up being able to do a whole look with this one, which is great. And this is actually the one I thought I would enjoy the least, so I'm glad to know that I can kind of do a easy look with this, especially because there are some easy to use transition shades for my skin tone in here, which some of the other palettes are kind of lacking. Anyway, I do really like all of my Papagraph palettes. They are so fun. 
doing this project pan has really you know kind of opened my eyes to how little use I get out of them which is very disappointing so I think hoping that this will kind of inspire me to find more ways um, to use the palette and also maybe encourage me to buy less so I can show this palette more love so yeah I don't know it was it's fun I just wanted to play with some makeup I hope you enjoyed this video definitely don't forget to leave comments down below and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video bye guys